93.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The email that we got in for today's second date update makes me really angry at the internet. Really? Whoa. Since the internet came about, it has made it impossible for cheaters. Oh. It really has. <laughs> like, it has just ruined cheating. Oh, you know, you log yeah. on to Facebook and they see your relationship status. Even Ashley Madison, which is a website designed for cheaters, mm-hmm. will get your information out at some point. <laughs> Can't there just be one honest website for cheaters out there? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. That's not an oxymoron at all. Explain why I say that in just a second. But first, let's introduce you to today's second dater. Her name is Erin. Erin, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Good. Thank you for your email. We'll get into the whole cheating thing in just a second. But you want to call a guy named Adam? Yeah. Okay. And uh, how did you meet Adam? We actually met at a party. I was just chatting with some friends, and he actually ended up coming up to me and striked up a conversation. And right in front I, of your friends, that's that's a pretty ballsy move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty impressed. I thought, okay. Did he like elbow your friends out of the way? Like, hey, <laughs> it's my time now. This is my conversation, not yours. Um, she's mine. No, no, no. He was really like fun about it. He was like. Me, ladies, this is a beautiful girl. I would love to chat with her, like steal her away for a second. That's really cute. Oh. Really, Im- I know. I was really impressed. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Had you been eyeing him all night too? No, no. I actually didn't see him prior to that. But once I did, I was like, oh yeah, he's cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what'd you guys talk about? Um, we just chatted about like what we do for a living. So your email said that you guys went out for dinner. How did that go? We, again, had wonderful like conversation, no lulls, no awkward moments. It was a, a Wednesday night, so we both had work the next morning. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no like sleepover, and I'm not that kind of girl. I read your email. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you obviously know why this guy's not calling you back. Yes, I do, unfortunately. What? Uh, I let my emotions get the best of me. That's for sure. So I looked him up online, and I come across his Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And I see on his profile, his profile picture is like him and a girl, and he's like whispering into the girl's ear, and they're like both laughing, and they look like, to me, it looked like he had a girlfriend. Uh. And I was immediately suspicious. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I was really mad because I have a history of people cheating on me. Plus, how dare he, like, go and have a date with somebody else when he might be with this girl? Yeah. You know, like, I felt bad for the girl. So I called him up immediately and freaked out because I was like, how dare you invite me on a date? And, oh. and So you called him up and yelled at him? <laughs> yes. Did you cuss at him and stuff like that? Ah, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I was just mad. I was just so angry. I really let him have it. What did he so, say when you were yelling at him, though? I mean, I, you guys went out on one know. date. What? Because I was yelling so much. I didn't even let him get a word in. That's how angry I was. Oh, so wait, no. did you ever ask him, like, do you have a girlfriend to make sure that he actually did? <laughs> No, because I was just like, how I just was freaking out. So he just called him up, he answered the phone, he was like, hello, and you're like, you cheating ass. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I just freaked out, and I'm really, trust me, I am really mad at myself for it because I actually like him, and I didn't give him a chance to explain, and now, now he won't pick up my call. Do you know oh, that no. that girl in the picture wasn't his girlfriend or something, or are you I still don't the. Know. You still have no idea who that is. I have no idea. With the world of Facebook, everything else is private except that picture. Uh, I really don't know. It could have been his sister. It could have been a girlfriend. It could have been a friend. I don't know. I just feel really bad that I yelled at him instead of giving him a chance and listening to what he had to say. To yeah, explain that probably would have been a better option to at least go, hey, question for you. Do you have a girlfriend? Not as soon as the answer is just... Call him a cheater and a, a liar. <laughs> and have you tried to apologize since? Yeah, oh, I'm, of course. I mean, you know, those lengthy texts 
then and I tried to call but no answer and I I am really really mad at myself for letting my emotions get the best of me you know how you <laughs> seem though right like you seem crazy crazy yes. because you guys went on one day okay but you and you can't really I mean how are you gonna come back from that if he is in fact single I don't know but at least I can apologize and leave him in the driver position in terms of if we could get a second date. Right, I don't know. And maybe you can explain to him that you've been cheated on before and so you jumped the gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, let, let's both hash this out because I'm so sorry I freaked out, but let me explain myself. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, call him and get your second date update, all right? Thank you. Uh, hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Second date update. Erin is on the phone with us today to do a second date update. She wants to call a dude named Adam that she met at a party. Erin, I have to ask you real quick before we get into this. Did you notice if Adam is a strong man? Huh? What? Like, is he strong? Does he look like he's got, like, you know, muscles and... I mean, he was lean. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just <laughs> wondering because I'm assuming if he does go out with you again, he's going to need to be able to carry a lot of baggage. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm not, I'm not one of the crazy ones. I just happen to flip out, okay? Uh, if you're just tuning in for the oh, second yeah, date update, good. Aaron is on the phone because she went out on a date with Adam, but after uh, the date, she stalked his Facebook, and there was a picture of him with another girl. It looked like it could have been his girlfriend. She freaked out, called him, yelled at him, called him a cheater, then hung up on him. Didn't even get to hear his side of the story, and that's the last she's ever talked to him. So we're going to call him today. One, find out if that was his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Two... Let you try to apologize if it wasn't his girlfriend. And three, somehow see if we can get another date for you. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to dial the phone number right now and see what he says. Okay. Try not to yell at him before we get the information out. Ha ha. <laughs> All right. Hello. All right. Can I speak to Adam, please? Uh, this is Adam. Adam, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Um, from what? Brook and Jubal in the Morning, the radio show? Yeah, from a radio show? Yeah, did I wake you up? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I can't do a radio show. I, you can't do a radio? No, I don't want you to do a radio show. I want to just, I'm calling from a radio show, and I just want to talk to you for a second. I don't, I don't know, man. It's not, I don't think that's going to happen. Are you what so did you sorry? say? Are um, you... So you uh, your radio show? Yes. What does that mean? Somebody <laughs> sent us an email about you and asked if we could get you on the phone and talk to you for a few minutes about something. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, what is it? Well, it's a segment we do on our show called The Second Date Update. Basically, if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after that date, they have us see if we can get you on the phone and ask what went wrong. Oh. Oh, okay. The girl <laughs> that wanted me to call you today knows what went wrong after the date, but she wanted me to see if we can get you on the phone and kind of smooth things over. No, what, and what, what girl is this? Her name is Erin. You probably remember her because she recently yelled at you and called you a cheater and then hung up on you. Man, I don't... I don't think I can deal with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you just talk to us for a few minutes about the date? Because it's got to be weird. I I'm just curious from like a guy's perspective how weird that is. You go on a date with a girl one time, and then she gets home and starts yelling at you and calling you a cheater. I don't even know what happened there. Like, she, I mean, she called up, and then she just started screaming at me. Did she explain why she thought you were a cheater? It was pretty hard to tell. There was a lot of uh, there was a lot of cuss work coming at me, so I couldn't really. Uh... I'll, I'll tell you why she did that. She said after the date, she went to your Facebook page and saw a picture of you like cuddled up with some girl, and then she just flipped out and thought that you must be cheating on that girl and were trying to get a date with her when you were in a relationship. Is that true? <sighs> I don't. I don't know what's. I don't know what that girl's deal was, man. I really don't. So I'm assuming that's why you don't want to go out with her again because she says she's tried to apologize to yeah. you. I mean, well, what's what's the point, man? Like, if that's if that's what's gonna happen, I don't want to. Uh, 
That's understandable. If a girl called me up after a first date and yelled at me for being a cheater when she didn't even know the story, I would be a little bit apprehensive about dating her. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not in the mood to be going out with girls right now. I'm just. Uh, I'm take a little break. I think. Wouldn't you want to just like hear what she has to say though? Let her apologize, maybe. I mean, I, I guess it's just not really perfect. No, it's good that it's good that you say that because she's actually on the other line listening. What? Yeah. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I can't believe I overreacted like that. Wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. You're on the other line. Like, what's what's going on? Well, I was trying to get a hold of you, and this seemed to be the only way I could get a hold of you. And I wanted to just explain myself and have you explain yourself because. I obviously wasn't listening the other night, and I really wanted to apologize for that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so what do you have to say to her apology, Adam? I mean, you, you don't you don't have to apologize, you know? It's, I mean, you're right. I, I, am, I am a cheater. What? 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 I mean, I have cheated. I didn't cheat on you. I mean, after one date, what is that? But... <laughs> okay, well, then who's that picture with on your Facebook? That picture? That's just some girl. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't cheat on girl. you, whatever that means, after one date. But I, I, I have cheated on a number of girls before, like a lot of girls. So <laughs> what? I'm confused. <laughs> what are you confused about? I, I, I cheat. I, I get bored. Like, I get bored with, with one girl, so I cheat. So that was your girlfriend, and you were cheating? No, I huh? wasn't, but I would. After that call, I probably would have cheated on you, but it wouldn't have mattered. Like, I would have found a reason. I would have found another girl. So you're right to not want to date me. It's okay. I get it. Why couldn't you just tell me this? Why couldn't you just pick up the phone or answer my text and just be like, hey... Actually, I'm not into this. No, I mean, I was, I was into you, but I'm, and I, I still kind of am. But I, I think <laughs> I would eventually cheat on you. So, <laughs> so wait, you at least have. you're being honest, Adam. Really? I'm so confused. So you haven't cheated on her, but you know you will in the future, and that's why you can't go out on another date with her. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, well, not that I, not that I really want to, anyways, because it seems like. That's how you see and treat women, and that's disgusting. So, look, I have cheated over thirty times with different girls, <laughs> and it's just, I get bored, and I hook up with some random girl at a bar, and then you know I know I'm going to do it again. So, so I do it again. you're sort of preemptively not calling her back because you know that you would date her and then end up cheating on her. That's actually kind of nice of you. Nice of it. It, yeah, I mean, in a yeah, very so. weird and immature way. It really is, though. I mean, at least he's telling you now so that you don't get cheated on, especially if you've been cheated on before, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad I wrote a whole email and took the time to call you today. <laughs> what a gentleman. Well, but, Adam, why not just go on dates then and hang out with girls and have a good time and just be honest that you can't be in a relationship with them? I don't know. I think I, think I just have a problem. Like it's probably just more fun and exciting when you're in a relationship. To oh, my God. Around. So are you proud of the cheating? Because you don't necessarily sound proud of it. I'm, it's just a part of who I am. I don't know. I get bored. <laughs> but right. you don't also oh sound remorseful either. Like, you're in this matter-of-fact way. At this least is he's it. honest, though. Yeah. Right? I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm just a cheater, and I guess she called me out on it before I had a chance to cheat on her. So, you know. <laughs> All right. Her. <laughs> so, at, at this point, I would love to ask if you will go out on another date with Aaron. We'll pay for it. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know how it works. Like, do you give a gift card or like some sort of uh, like some sort of trip or something? But. Because I don't know if I'm going to take her. I might take someone else. <laughs> I'll just pay for your date with somebody at random. I'm just being honest, man. Like that's how this. That's how this goes. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Wow. I cannot believe this right now. Seriously. Aaron, I guess it goes to show you just trust your gut the next time. Oh, yeah. No. My instincts were right. We were all ripping on you for calling him up and just assuming that he was cheating and yelling at him. But from now on, any guy you date, feel free to yell at him whenever you want because you are correct. <laughs> 
Brooke and Jubal in the morning.